Welcome into the shop. We're going to this morning now take a look at an eight volume set of books bound in period full leather bindings here in the early 19th century. It's the Spectator. You'll notice that the spines have these gilt ornamented compartments ruled like so with a contrasting title label. Beautiful, really swirled uh, tree calf covers. The edges of the covers are also gilt ruled like so. Uh, the front cover of the first volume is fully detached like this. Uh, this is how the set uh, survives and has come down to us. I'm going to now set this board on the table so that I can show you this interesting inscription here from 1810, uh, 29th of June no less. It's pretty funny for someone to uh, choose a right, the specific date. Uh, they acquired the set, but there it is. Printed by uh, Charles Whittingham, who is a well-known and highly regarded printer. 1803, stipple engraved portrait front is here of steel, the author. And we see that the book itself internally is clean, tight, and sound. What's happened at some point is the leather has dried along this front joint and the board just became, it broke off, and that is often what happens with old antiquarian leather bound books uh, that uh, are not leather dressed. Uh, over time, the leather can dry, and so you have to handle books of this era with a bit of care, and if you uh, can avoid, uh, for the most part, uh, opening the front cover more than about 90 degrees to the book itself, there's that same early 1810 inscription. It's in the front, I believe, of each volume. We have another stipple engraved portrait here. And again, clean, tight, and sound. Very handsome uh, spines. The overall shelf appearance uh, is really, I think, in to, to my way of looking at antiquarian books, still very pleasing, less than perfect, but therein lies the charm of it. Uh, this is not a perfect set, and it's uh, priced accordingly, but it is still a scarce set, and it still has very nice shelf appearance. So you would just need to decide whether you can live with that uh, front cover the way it is. Uh, myself as a dealer, I still thought it was nice enough to acquire. Here's another stipple engraved portrait. And look at these covers. These are really beautiful. That's very, very nice work right there. And there's another Addison portrait. And the next volume like so. Like this, there's his signature. And this portrait here, Congreve, volume the sixth, and here's the seventh. This is a complete set. It's been, looks like it's had a little bit of work done too at some point, a uh, little bit of rebacking there. The uh, joint here is cracked, but the cover is still firmly attached by the binding cords. There's Pope right there. And this. The final volume we see here. Look at this. Yes. Never get tired of looking at these kinds of uh, marbled leather covers. And here is Swift. And so you've seen now the insides and the outs of each volume. And it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.